Hi friends, welcome to this part 71. We are looking at some of the real questions from the past. So this is the YouTube handle of this channel. You can subscribe and also look at various shorts playlist. There are 550 plus videos. So the way we have structured this is we try to solve questions and we clear the concepts in that process. We do not have any specific training content because training is just like net practice. So we strongly believe that you have to practice as if it is an actual match and that is why we use real questions. So let us jump into this question now. Here you want to automate the creation of accounts and service control policies. If you want to manage permission in your organization, then you use SCP. One thing you should observe is you should not attach SCPs to the root of your organization. So like we saw SCP is a AWS organization feature because you can take care of organization policies. So this would be the answer. So organization helps you centrally manage your environment. So you can also centrally secure your environment and you can optimize costs. Let us look at cost explorer now. It just helps you with managing your costs and usage. It will not help you with SCPs. So this is wrong. Let us look at budgets. It improves the planning and cost control. It's just like you set a budget for your household. It's similar to that. It is basically a forecasting exercise. You may forecast that you would run your household in three thousand dollars a month and that is your forecast so you are kind of categorizing these many dollars for utilities these many dollars for food expenses and so on so it is just forecasting the actual expenditure may be more or maybe less or maybe just close to three thousand dollars again it is a lever for cost management it will not help you with implementing service control policies and then we have trusted advisor so it is just like a consultant it tells you measures how to reduce costs how to improve performance how to improve security so it will not help you with service control policies and hence option d is wrong so here we have our final answer so this is the next question and here they want to know which service makes use of machine learning. That means in the background, it uses machine learning, but you don't come to know that it uses machine learning. If you see option A, Shield is a security solution. It is used for DDoS protection. It does not have an ML code behind to help with some of the cognitive skills. So shield is wrong. Then we have network firewall. Again, this is a security solution. It provides security across VPCs. It has no business to have some sort of cognitive skills in the background. No, it is just a software which does what it is meant for. And so option B is wrong. I meant option C and the same happens with Cognito. Cognito is our access solution. It is, uh, you know, if you log in, you have a Gmail ID and then you use it to uh, log into Facebook, log into Instagram. That happens through Cognito. So we are left with Macy and that is our answer. Uh, it protects sensitive data at scale. Okay, so what is Macy used for? Suppose on S3 buckets, you have various documents and those documents have the sensitive data. 
so you can run Macy it will automatically identify which ones have sensitive data how it does that is it uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover and protect your data so it will say hey robot out of 100 documents I found two documents which is referring to people's social security numbers and then you can take a call if you want to remove those documents or you want to sanitize those documents and upload it again so i hope you understood what macy does using the machine learning so this is the next question and here we want to improve the overall availability and performance of an application and we have we are hosting it on aws obviously this is an aws certification if you want to improve performance if you want to improve availability use global accelerators this helps improve application availability performance and security using global networks global networks is like um, it is a single private network that acts as high level containers for your network objects if we talk about connect you know this is about customer service you can provide customer service at a lower cost you can build a cloud-based contact center your own contact center so here we are not talking about building contact centers so let us look at option b light sale if you want to build applications faster at low cost with pre-configured resources then you use light sale here the use case does not say we have to build websites and hence b is wrong so let us look at storage gateways it provides on-premises applications with access to cloud storage nobody is talking about on-premises here so storage gateways from nobody's asking for a storage solution as well so this would be my final answer if you have not yet subscribed please do so so many people have cleared the certifications using these contents and concepts there is a join button below this video or there is a link in the description please become a cloud kernel member for a very small premium and gain access to so many different important questions so this brings us to the part 71 this is the youtube handle you can search for 550 plus videos 3000 plus questions on aws azure cloud google cloud snowflake and so on stay tuned stay focused see you in the next part